Well, hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today is the first budget for 2019. I don't even think I've shown the planner that I'm gonna be using. This is a hardcover Erin Condren planner and it has embossed 2019. I don't know if you can see it. My viewfinder is kind of funky and I don't know if you can see it, but um, it's the black cover with the platinum coil and it is the deluxe monthly planner. This is what I've used for several years and I really enjoy it. There was a bunch of different things that happened to this planner this year that I actually really enjoy. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of skim through it. You guys have probably seen lots of different videos and stuff showing it a little bit more. But again, you just have the monthly view, which is awesome. And then in between here is where the things change. There is no longer this like funky page. I don't even have my other planner next to me, but there was like a really funky page here. And then like this page had just like a line in it. And then you actually get more pages this year, which is awesome. And then I elected to have a bunch of notes pages in the back. Um, you can get a whole bunch of notes pages if you want. You can, can just get the standard amount of notes pages. I think I went with the maximum amount of notes pages, which I think is like 120 or something or 90. I don't know, I can't remember. But um, anyway, I really like the flexibility of this having your month. So you, if you wanna track something on your month and then just having a lined page, just, you know, gives me a lot more room to do things. So um, I'm not gonna do anything with this page just cause I'm right handed and I really like this and I don't like to bump into the coil. So um, this might evolve a little bit. I'm gonna zoom you guys in just a little bit here. This format might evolve just a little bit as we're kind of going through the year, but I wanted to set up my January budget with y'all. And I just don't know how I wanna do everything. So I'm just kind of doing this on the fly and I am clearly a decorative planner. And hi, my name's Emily. If you guys have not uh, been to my channel before, I know this, these videos get suggested to people all the time. A little bit about me, I work full time. I do YouTube part time. I am single. I also have my own business that I don't work at full time, but it's more like a part time thing. So today, I get a lot of questions. You will not see any healthcare costs, internet costs, or cell phone costs, because that is all run through my business. I know I get a lot of questions about that, but um, yeah. So we're just gonna do this. Oh, did I say I'm single? No, maybe I didn't. Okay, I am single, and I also live with a very demanding dog who is upstairs right now and whining because he wants me to go up there so I can pet him, which is clearly not happening at the moment. So, yeah. <laughs> He's old, he doesn't know what's going on anymore. I had this like plan of how I wanted this to look and it's kind of not looking the way I want it to look. Hmm. Well, you know what, we're gonna just go with it. Well, my problem is there's this like little funky tail on here. Let's just, all right, let's try this. It just wasn't super sticky. I needed it to be sticky. There we go. I don't know what, what happened there, but that's all right. Cool. I picked this one because it kind of went with this color. I felt like, I don't know, looks kind of cute. I'm gonna be using my Coffee Break Planner stickers here and just writing budget. These are some of my favorite stickers because y'all know I love me a budget and I love functional stickers as well. So, love these scallops. One of my faves. I'm also gonna use some of these because this is the Erin Condren, let's see, which, what is this? The Designer Sticker Book Monthly Collection Edition 4. And I feel like these colors just match really, really nicely. So I'm gonna use this. You know, it's the beginning of the year. Might as well start the budget out right, you know? Oh, look how cute that is. All right, and I never end up using these like strips. You know, maybe once in a while I use one, but very, very rarely. Let's use this, kind of this pretty teal color. Cute, I don't know. What do you guys think? 
kind of fun, right? Let's get into the bills. I am someone that doesn't show their income. However, I do show you guys my actual outgo. I'm gonna be using these again, and I'm gonna write down my bills and then my cash categories. I actually don't use cash for all of my categories, but I'll get into that in just a little bit here. So here are all of the bills that I get to pay. How fun and adulty, right guys? Okay, so my mortgage has actually changed just a little bit if you guys have watched me for quite a while. Let me zoom you in a little bit more. So um, yeah, my mortgage just changed just a little bit. It changed only like a couple bucks. So let me write down everything and then I'll go over the entire month with you guys in just a moment. Right, so here is my budget for January 2019. Oh, it feels so weird to say 2019. Um, also, another thing I should mention, which I completely spaced at the very beginning, um, I am debt free and I do follow the Dave Ramsey plan. If you guys are interested in the Dave Ramsey plan or know anything about it, I am on baby step four, five, and six, but really four and six because I don't have kids, so I'm not saving for college. So anyway, that to be said, let me run through everything with you guys. So my bills are as follows. My mortgage ticked up just a little bit at 467.09. I get a lot of questions as to how my mortgage is so low. I did put 50% down on my house. And if you guys are interested in my mortgage details, I will link the video up above for you guys in a card. I do live in an association and my HOA is 158 a month. My gas actually just went down, which is exciting. I do this program through the gas company where they basically average out for six months. So it was was $55 for the last six months and then it just ticked down. It just like depends on what my usage was. So um, clearly I haven't been using that much and it just went down to $37. And then Culligan uh, is $31.85. I do rent a water softener. I guess the previous owner of this home has had to change it out twice. Um, I actually am gonna be paying a little bit more this month. I believe it's about $35. Um, someone actually comes here, I believe it's about once a quarter and they come in and they put the salt pellets in and they also maintain my unit. Um, so that is going to be extra this month. And then my electric is an estimate. Whoops, I forgot to write that down at about $75. Uh, my garbage is $17.85, which includes my recycling. My water is always an estimate at about $45 or so. Usually in the summer, it's a little bit more because they do charge everyone in my townhome association for like watering the lawns and things like that. My auto insurance is a fixed cost at $85.42, and then Netflix is $11.75. So my total for all my things that are just outgoing is $963.96. Here's my what I like to call cash categories, even though I really only take cash for one or two items now. Um, my fuel is $250, to be honest, I don't ever do this in cash, ever, ever, ever. Um, paying at the pump is so much easier and a lot of pumps in my area, you can't even like pay cash anymore. I don't know if that's just like a regional thing or whatever. So anyway, it's just so much easier to swipe the card and it's like, it's gas. It's gonna get me from point A to point B and whatever the cost is, the cost is. Um, my fuel actually just went down not that long ago in my area and I live in um, the Minneapolis area in Minnesota. Don't know if it's gone down for you guys, but it has for us a little bit. Um, my grocery is about the same at $250. Again, I am single and it's just me and a dog. And that grocery does include like if I were to need like paper towels or napkins or like any other like little things along the way as well. My dining budget is $150. Uh, the dining budget I definitely take cash out for. Grocery sometimes, I'm, you know, it's kind of interchange, like I feel like food is food. So like for me, those categories are kind of interchangeable just depending. So if I'm eating out a lot more and my dining budget is a little bit higher, but my grocery budget is then like a little bit smaller, I feel like that's all right. And then um, my total for this is $650 for my kind of cash categories as I like to call it. I don't really have any other like 
extra pending expenses that are coming up in the month of January that I know of yet. Um, so I'm just gonna leave it like this. So my total for January as of right now, as we sit, is $1,613.96. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe to see more budgeting type videos from me. And if y'all ever have any video ideas, feel free to put them in the comments down below. Make sure to share this video with a friend if you think that they would love to get their 2019 off to a wonderful budgeting start. And thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye guys. Well folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to my baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah.